Let's take a look at the heart and the vessels above the heart. This is the anterior surface of the heart. So this is the right atrium or oracle, pulmonary trunk, and the left atrium or oracle. Coming out above the heart, you can see superior vena cava and the base of the aorta. Now I'm going to remove this so we can see the vessels more clearly. Again, this was the superior vena cava. You can see it branch into two brachiocephalic veins. Each brachiocephalic vein has an axillary vein and a jugular vein. In this case, on this side, we're seeing an internal jugular vein, and you can actually see the external jugular vein going up closer to the surface. The subclavian vein continues through the armpit as the axillary vein. And in this model, we can even see a surface vein, the cephalic. If we look at the blood vessels, what we want to see are the branches off the aorta. Here's the aorta, here's the arch of the aorta. So off the arch of the aorta are three arteries. Brachiocephalic artery, which is in this case hidden beneath the veins. That brachiocephalic artery would branch into the right subclavian and a right common carotid. Individual branches off the arch of the aorta include the left common carotid and the left subclavian artery, which continues into the armpit as the axillary artery. The arch of the aorta turns and heads downward, becoming the thoracic aorta. It'll continue on through the diaphragm as the abdominal aorta. What you should also see here is right next to the aorta is the esophagus. It also continues through the diaphragm. What ends a little bit before that point is the trachea. This is the split where the trachea becomes a left and right primary bronchi. Above these vessels is a little bit of the trachea and the thyroid.